Hi there guys, what's going on? My name is Jelly Belly Joe, and today I am back with another video. Now in this video, we're taking a look at Rome Total War's Gore Pack, or Blood and Gore Pack, and it is pretty goddamn epic. Now I think personally, from a personal opinion perspective, this is what this game needed. Now what you're seeing on the screen right now that I'm live commentating over is not actually me playing. I am doing a replay of something which I do in my spare time, especially when the Blood and Gore Pack came out. I decided to line around two full armies of 2400 men of Egyptian swordsmen versus a few groups of uh, Macedonian swordmasters. Now if you wonder what mas uh, sorry, not even mas I don't even know how to say that. The swordmasters. Now if you wonder what the swordmasters are, you would have probably noticed if you play this game quite a lot that they're not actually in the game. Well, you have to download the Radius Total War mod or download the Radius Total War Unit Pack 3 and you will unlock in fact, I don't even think it's from that mod. In fact, I think it's from a different separate mod that adds Swordmasters to all the Hellenic factions. But regardless, I decided that uh, I would pitch this many men versus these Swordmasters. Now, these Swordmasters cost 2,000 each to buy, so they are one hell of a troop. I think they have 100 melee attack, etc, etc. We'll try and keep some reputable FPS here, but I doubt we'll be able to achieve that in this video. But that's not really what I want to talk about, apart from going in and seeing the action anyway. But... Um, the blood and stuff splatter everywhere. Blood and Gore Pack is absolutely fantastic. Now, one ninety nine on Steam, you really can't go wrong. Now, why do I say it's fantastic? Well, everything I've seen f about Romans, about Rome, ever since I was little, it's always been about the gritty truth of Rome. It's always been about the fact that Rome was quite a dark, you know, there's a lot of internal struggles going on, and it's just awesome about the bloody and violent battles, which were in the Roman times. Now, you can imagine, if you're fighting in the Roman times like this right now, there was a hell of a lot of, you know, quite quite gruesome pictures inside of a battle, you know? there's not It's not really like rainbows now where we're shooting bloody guns from 500 metres away. This was up close, personal, stabbing, chopping, dislimbering, you know, it was quite, really quite, um disgusting stuff and that's what I love about the Blood and Gore pack is the fact that it captures that it captures everything about it and I just absolutely love that picture and you know um, and it adds something to the game you know when you decide to you know really go and have your last final stand there's blood shooting everywhere you know you're really going for it it adds a much better effect um, compared to what it used to you know and the same on the map when you know your, your characters on the campaign map slice another army's character, the blood comes out, and it just, it's so more authentic towards this time period that it's ridiculous, um, in my opinion, I, I absolutely love it, and I think this game, in a way, is all about authentication, um, so not authentication, but really involving the play on what it was like in the Roman times, um, generally, and this kind of era, um, and that's something which, for me, the original Rome, no, no, sorry, Rome Total War 2, when it came out, it didn't do, it didn't, capture that really gruesome side of it I mean the diplomacy system was a bit weak everything about it was a bit weak and I wanted to see more grit that's what the Romans were about it was quite a gritty time period with a lot of a lot of bloodshed really and a lot of you know a lot of different people trying to expand in every different direction now if you're wondering why my men aren't getting owned here they cost 200 2,000 each sorry I have a hundred melee attack and they are versus Egyptian infantry now if I get the thing up here if Egyptian infantry have eight melee attack uh, and they are really lacking in nearly pretty much everything. If we go over here to my uh, Swordmasters, they pretty much boss out everything on this earth. So, as you can imagine, in this battle, even though I'm outmanned about 30 men to 1, uh, I don't lose. Now, that was a major FPS thing. Let's try and keep the camera down. But, yeah. So, that's what I've decided to do with the Blood and Gore pack thus far, was to just watch slaughters happen and really try and you know, capture some of these awesome gritty movements that were happening as well. Now these soldiers do look awesome, and yet again, it's thanks to mods that we have these awesome men in. Now there's some really kick-ass moves inside, you know, this battle in general. In fact, every battle in general with the Blood and Gore pack. Um, and it just adds so much more to it. And, you know, I can't stress that enough, that if you haven't bought this, you are missing out so goddamn badly. I mean, for one ninety nine. You really can't, I mean, that guy just got his head chopped off. Did you see that? Am I the only one who saw that? Probably. You have to rerun the video and just watch that guy get his head chopped off. But, I mean, it's just gruesome. I and mean, this is, I think that this Blood and Gore pack is probably worse than the one in Shogun 2. Uh, not worse as in it's, like, not as good. As in it's worse as in there's a lot more blood, a lot more, 
don't know, it seems like they planned this before the release, and I'm glad they did, because it's definitely worth it. You know, there's blood sticks to soldiers all over the ground, and it really gives you a sense of that epic scale of warfare. When you look down, there's just bodies everywhere, and you also, it draws out emotions in you as well. You know, when you look down onto a battlefield, and you see a, you know, one of them uh, people that's been stabbed, and they're praying to God, and stuff like that, or whatever they're doing, and they've got blood all over them. It adds a bit more, you know, shit, this person's dying type thing, and not just, oh, he's on the floor kind of praying at me. That's kind of how it seems to me, anyway, with this blood and gore pack, is it adds just... It gets you deep down and dirty with all the action, especially, you know, and it makes you want to watch the action. Before, the action was a bit boring. Yeah, you saw some pretty cool moves and stuff like that, but nothing really that ever, for me, made me go, Oh, God, that was... Oh, wow. You know, it was kind of like, Oh, yeah, he just got stabbed. Big boo. No, there's nothing really too amazing about the whole experience. Whereas the blood and gore pack, if you haven't got it, I would definitely recommend it. There's some sick ass moves. I mean, they're not new moves, but they're moves that are ad like they just become awesome now because of the blood and gore pack, and it's so blatant to see. But as you can see here in the battle, anyway, going back to what's happening in the battle itself, um, the enemy is pretty much routing from all directions. Now I think when they all get to here, they all time around because they're only partly routed, and then they all start to regain formations, and I send some after them, etc., etc. So what we'll do is we'll speed this up so we can get this battle out of the way. In fact, wow, that's laggy as hell. Look at that. That FPS. That was beautiful. I was on four FPS for a second there, guys. Four. Please, get with it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Blood and Gore pack thus far. Is It adds new stuff to the campaign in terms of warfare and fighting. You know, sieges are pretty cool now. Where you get people getting knocked off the walls and there's blood going everywhere. And dismemberment and their fucking heads are rolling off the walls. And it just... If you're if you're looking to capture the real you know grit of this time period and not have you know and not bothered about seeing some pretty gruesome stuff, then definitely recommend this. Um, it's pretty much a must in my opinion to have this uh, installed on your game. So I'd definitely get, recommend getting in uh, loads of mods installed. You know, get these men, get everything like that. Uh, Radius, if you haven't got it, a fantastic mod really adds something to the game in terms of depth. Um, I really get this blood and gore pack because it's definitely worth it. And uh, as you can see here, the battlefield just in general is pretty goddamn gruesome. Pretty goddamn gruesome. Yeah, there's a, not a lot left to be desired for any people who just love bloodshed because that's what you'll get if you have this mod installed. In fact, we have some men that are trying to run away, and we should probably watch them get slaughtered to be honest. That's a really messed up animation. He's dead. How about this guy? I think he's about to take it as well. Yeah, he's down. Oh, with the blood squirt. Okay. And that's about it. And that is the battle, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, so give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back at a later date with Battlefield 4, which I'm planning to do as well as more of them, Total War 2, because we both love those type of games, because they are just epic. So I'll see you, you jelly buddy bros, in a bit. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.